Okay, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Megan. As Megan said, any major city has a vast number of business goals, ranging from satisfying residents to bringing in tourism dollars. This diversity is reflected in our key influencers, who span international, national, and local spaces. Our key influencers range from individual reporters and media outlets to bloggers and, of course, community residents and employees. As one of the great entertainment and cultural hubs of Canada, our influencers are also include athletes, sports teams, and of course, business organizations, given our role as a major financial and banking capital. Luckily, we benefit from active and engaging brand advocates on social media that promote our, cities, our city to key influencers and our target audience. Of course, there's our elected mayor and council, and of course, you have to include infamous councillor Norm Kelly, but we also benefit from many of our main sports, entertainment, and cultural attractions who promote our city over their social media channels. This is further amplified by City of Toronto celebrities. Our brand advocates like our employees and community centers are also active on social media, promoting what our city has to offer to our residents. Again, attracting investment and making it easier to do business in the city is a key business goal, and we benefit from brand advocates over social media in this area, including the Toronto Region, Regional Board of Trade and Business Improvement Area Associations.
While all cities in the Greater Toronto Area benefit from business and pop population clusters in the region, the City of Toronto competes for employees, investment, and tourism spending with nearby Canadian and U.S. cities, and major cities throughout Canada. We compared the City of Toronto presence on social media to other cities in the GTHA, the Greater Toronto Hamilton area. These cities included Oshawa, Hamilton, Mississauga, and nearby Buffalo, New York for an international component. We used Rival IQ and used the City of Toronto general social media accounts for our comparison. For this comparison, two key metrics we looked at were social activity and social engagement. Since our resources vastly outnumber our competitors, it's unsurprising that we ranked first among social activity. We also ranked above average for social engagement, which reconfirms that the content we are creating is engaging to our audiences. While our city maintains individual channels for key business areas like tourism, this strategy wasn't clearly reflected by our competitors, who relied more heavily on general accounts for each platform. So for instance, the City of Toronto does not have a general Facebook page uh, compared to all other cities in this competitive landscape. Now, when we compare our digital activity to major cities throughout Canada, we do find a more targeted social media strategy within those cities, similar to what we are doing here in Toronto. A comparison of our general platforms of Toronto to Calgary, Montreal, and Vancouver shows us keeping pace with our competitors in social activity, with Facebook and Twitter being the platforms most actively used by all companies within this landscape. However, in our landscape of major Canadian cities, our engagement rate is much below others. Now, this is likely due to the fact that we are the only city within the landscape without a general Facebook page, while others clearly leverage the general page to boost engagement. Um, as you can see, Toronto's engagement is primarily over Twitter versus other cities that do leverage that general Facebook page, page to boost engagement. Because we have such a targeted strategy uh, in key business areas like tourism and business, uh, we ran a comparison of other online uh, digital strategies in this landscape in the area of tourism to see how we compare. So again, Toronto was slightly below average in activity, um, but we were also in this area uh, below average Again, relying more heavily on Twitter than our competitors, uh, but clearly underutilizing Facebook in this area. Now, this is concerning as we have an audience of 191,000 across all of our tourism channels, uh, which is above average for our landscape.
Thank <laughs> you. 